Good morning, I'm Ken Say and welcome to Dragon Track. Today we are doing McAfee Knob and Tinker's Cliff. It's a little over nine mile a day. And the day did not start the way I wanted to start. I woke up at three o'clock. There was a fire in the fire pit. Three of the other six people had started a fire yesterday. I think all six of them enjoyed it. Uh, I went to bed before it was lit when I woke up at three o'clock. There was a fire in the fire pit. And there's no water in the stream near our shelter. So I used the half a gallon or so of water outside the tent of one of the three people who started the fire to kill it. <clears throat> because you never, ever, ever leave a fire unattended. I thought I'd killed it, but half an hour later, it was blazing again. And since there were no water in the stream, killing it quietly the way I had done the first time was no longer an option. So unfortunately, I had to institute a fire drill at 3.30 in the morning. And so I woke everybody up, told them how stupid it was to leave in fire, a fire unattended, and told them to fix it. And the three people, or at least two of them, had started the fire, sorted it out. If there had been water in our stream, I would have replenished the water I used to kill the fire, but I couldn't do that. Not sure how popular I am with those guys, but that was not what I wanted to do. I w wanted to kill the fire quietly, but I didn't have that option. Okay, so this is the overlook. Is that where people take the photograph? Uh, I don't know, but the views are good. Views. This is going down. Rocks on all sides. And in regards to the iconic photograph at McAfee Knob, you follow the sign to overlook to get there. And I took uh, the photo around 9 a.m. And the sun was behind me rather than behind the camera. So it's a little early to take the photograph at nine. Did I get that uh, squirrel on camera? There should be a shelter uh, coming up um, in like 0.5 miles. It's quarter to 11. I've passed the Water source, there was a pipe, but the flow was slow. I replenished all my water. That, that stop took a little longer than I expected it would. The Inker Cliffs is 4.7 miles ahead. Well, that could have been the trail under that cliff. I just thought that looked so cool. But the AT goes this way. Uh, I have 0.1 miles to Tinker Cliffs, 1.7 miles to the shelter, and I am so exhausted. It's been a lot of hard ups. It's been warm. I've been sweating a lot. I have about 
half a liter of water. I could drink all of it right now, but then I don't have any water. I'm just trying to conserve that, trying to conserve my energy. It's slow going, taking a lot of breaks, but I'm going forward and I'm going to do this. Views. And the sun is straight ahead, so some of the views may be obscured by the light. And I don't really feel like filming right now. I would just like to sit and rest. Views. After I collapsed in a pile of whatever at Tinker's Cliff and rested for a while, uh, it's now fairly level and it's not as hot and there's a nice wind blowing from the left in over the cliffs. So I, I'm feeling a lot better. I don't feel the need to drink all of that water now. Uh, I wanted to earlier. Obviously I didn't because I'm gonna need water for the, what, 1.5 miles or whatever to the shelter. So this is the shelter where I'm spending the night. As I was on the way down there, my feet slid from under me. I could not stop falling down. This leg was folded under me. Uh, my hand looks like that after the fall. Uh, doesn't seem like it's actually uh, broken skin, but hopefully I can clean that up and clean myself up and make sure that everything is fine. Beautiful butterfly. I slipped down this way, so instead of trying to climb back out of it, I walked forward. This is a proper trail. I went to the campsite in case the water was there. There was no water there. There is no water at the shelter. Following the blue blaze and the sign for water leads me to a dry river or creek or whatever. If yesterday almost, or rather, if today almost killed me when I had water, tomorrow is definitely gonna kill me when I don't have any water. I, I'm just confused about the pipe thing. They said there would be a pipe. There are posts so far out that there are plenty of water here, but there's no water and I can't find a pipe anywhere. Is there a second blue blaze? There's another blue blaze here. Does this lead to a pipe? It flows with milk and honey. Well, I'll settle for water. This blue blaze unfortunately led to the privy. Well, it's good to know where the privy is, but there was no milk or honey and no water. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.